Hello guys, how's it going? Whitestorm here, and today we're playing World of Tanks, and we're playing Stronghold Tier 8 Skirmishes. And we have a rather bizarre and interesting kind of lineup for you today in these two replays that we're going to show you. And we have the AMX 5100. That's right guys, we've got almost a full platoon of 5100s just for a bit of fun. We're also rocking an Emil, an Object 252, and an IS-3. Followed up by our good trusty T-54 lightweight. And as you can see, here is a fantastic firing line of our AMX 5100s. Here we go. What a great shot that is, guys. All rocking except for one. Some fantastic camouflage. And they guys are going to be standing back at the cap for the first part of this uh, replay. Whilst they protect and be prepared to fall out and take all of the enemy team down easily. Meanwhile on the left hand flank the Emil 1, myself in my standard IS-3 and the Object 252U, the new tank that's just come out with the Defender, but this is the standard variant, are going to make our way down this peninsula on the left hand side ready to make a pincer maneuver. Meanwhile our solitary T-54 lightweight is making tracks through the center and down onto the right hand flank um, to see if you can find the object, the what is it, the R R U two five one, and the opponent's two T fifty four lightweights. He's going to be playing very cautiously, attempting not to die and losing any ability to spot. And it is thanks to him that we, in fact, win this game. So the R U two five one is spotted along with the T fifty four lightweight, and the A M X fifty fours shut him down, which is absolutely brilliant. The fifty four is playing a very dangerous game here. But he is keeping that 54 spotted. He is doing the dance of death and having some fantastic spotting opportunities down in the middle. Now, the opponents are rocking, for some strange reason, some artillery. They have, what is it here? They have an M40, M43 artillery. So we have to be able to stay moving. We have to keep out of sight and we have to destroy him as soon as possible. But in the meantime, our field commander is telling us, guys, we have spotted the AMX 54, uh, M4, sorry, 49L, and the majority of the IS-3s in the center of the park, and there they are coming into view. They are making a play right down the middle. They must have looked at our stats, and we begin to move in with the Emil 1 and the 252U in for flanking shots, and we are going to be successful in that. The AMX 5100s push in. They are ready to strike. They're putting shots in left and right, focus firing, and doing an absolutely fantastic job taking down the enemy team. This is a, a point that is crucial in the match, though, as we spot the first IS-3 that we're going to destroy. And looking from my perspective, I attempt to get shots down onto his weak upper plate, just above his gun mantlet. And unfortunately, with the poor slight poor gun handling we are unable to and we bounce our first two shots but he is not focusing on me so it's not too bad we're pressuring him he's sitting there shitting bullets but we don't mind and I begin to move round onto his left hand side as I look at him to get tracking shots and flanking shots the Emil has done a fantastic job trading with this guy and we put a shot into his upper plate securing my first kill and probably only kill as the IS-3 on the opponent's team who's hold back. He's worried and scared, he holds back and takes a shot right into my side. But that's not to worry the two other guys who are flanking with me, the Object 252U and the Emil 1, begin to surround him and we attempt to put a tracking shot into him but we bounce it for some strange reason. I'm not entirely sure why, maybe the tracks absorbed it, I don't know. And the Emil 1 takes him at his left hand side. 252U attempts to go in and we bounce another shot off of his plate and he is quickly destroyed by the Emil 1. Fantastic gameplay and that is all of the AMX's managed to get killed, well they have not all got kills but they have destroyed the rest of the team and all we have left is that pesky clicker, that awful awful M40-43, is it M41? Doesn't matter, he's gonna die anyway. So we go in search of him and that is guys pretty much the end of that good night you guys see you in the next one and guys as we search for this fantastic end to this gameplay 
I think the guys that we were playing against were slightly shocked that we were rocking so much heavy uh, guys, the uh, heavy AMX 5100s in this gameplay, as the M4043 is found and destroyed by the 5100s. And that, guys, is how you do it. That was absolutely brilliant. Now, moving on to the next replay, we rocked the same exact um, lineup, and we move into on this map, familiar map, as you guys know, will be Ents. We move in and take very, very campy positions in the back rear A90 positions. Like I said, rocking the same, and we're playing against Nomi. I don't know if you guys know who they are. Apparently, they're a good clan, and we take up positions in the middle of town here not in the middle of in the middle of the what would you call it the eastern town i suppose and we're rocking the same mo maneuvers here the object 252u myself in the is3 and we have the emil one with us this is literally the second game that we played with this just for fun platoon style uh lineup i guess you would call it and we're here waiting to see if they take any flanking maneuvers. They have three uh, lightweights again. They have the 54 one. Oh no, they don't. They have the 54 lightweight. They have the RU251. And what else is that? That is the WZ132, I believe. And they are quickly spotted. They've gone straight through the far western town and they are beginning to go, oh shit, we've made a mistake. As the AMX 5100s put in significant damage taking out their first lightweight, is that? Yes, it's the... What is that? That's the... That's the 110, the WZ-110, my mistake. As I come round with the Emil-1 and the Object 252U to basically do a holding maneuver. That's right, guys. I'm literally just here with these two other guys to stop them from capping out as they're going to begin to do. And I'm bouncing from the Emil 1, that's 320 damage, immediately bounced by the Emil 1 onto my turret, probably. And we're literally trying to play this smart, playing, trying to stay back and take cover. I don't mind if they camp and attack, as the 100s, the 50 100s, make a play for the guys at the bottom of the map. And, go and they're going in to go and uh, potentially put pressure on their cap. And that seems a little bit strange to send them south straight away to clear up the rest of them. The uh, enemy tanks, but that's exactly what they do. And we have spotted and killed the 5100 on the opponent's team. And the defender comes in, attempting to make a play, whilst the other team begins to start capping. The 50, what is that now? 252. The defender is come straight in, and he is going to be looking to stop us from getting in those passive shots, those decaps, as the lightweight comes in past and I set him on fire. Um, fantastic result, that's the defender, he's come in and I completely ignore him. Absolutely not caring as I go in for the IS-3A, that premium, very good IS-3 tank, and I managed to get the decap in there, but three people on cap, that's right. And now I'm beginning to use the defender as cover for my lower play and the object 252 on my own team, as I shut down that IS-3A. I'm completely going to ignore that defender. He is not needed, and looks like our uh, AMX 50100 that has stayed up with us, he is taken down, and we have shot straight, straight into the lower plate of the Emil 1 on the opponent's team, reducing them to 50% cap as our 35100s in the bottom there managed to win. And as you can see, another shot here of the defender coming in and I completely ignore him, using him as cover, getting shots onto that Emil 1. That was, guys, an absolutely fantastic replay. I really enjoyed playing in these two fantastic matches with the main clan, the Wildfire clan, coming in and destroying these two rather good clans. Now, guys, I'd like to say once again, thank you very much for letting me put these uh, very, very interesting replays onto my YouTube channel. Absolutely brilliant. I really enjoy playing in these clan games. And I will see you again in the next video. Thanks very much, guys, and bye-bye.